Welcome to the video on modifying a schedule. In this presentation we're going to modify an existing schedule. From the navigation tree on the left we can open the file containing schedules. Click on the plus mark next to the file you want to open to see its contents. In this case we've opened up the schedules and calendars file folder. And then locate the schedule you wish to modify. Schedules are indicated by pocket watch icons and calendars are represented by one page a day calendar icons. We're going to select the parking lot lighting schedule and we're going to bring it over into the right hand panel. Notice the display mode indicating we are viewing today's schedule. In the area just below the display mode title is a color bar indicating when the parking lot lights turn on and turn off. A table below the bar provides the same information in a table format. To make changes we must first enter the edit mode by clicking on the edit button above. When selected the edit button changes to a save button which must be selected later after making any changes in order to save those changes. Notice now that we have a different display below. We can now see the weekly schedule and the color bars representing the times of day that the parking lots will come on and go off for each day of the week. Since we are in the edit mode we can make changes. An easy way to change on or off times is to use your computer mouse to move the desired bar to a new time. To do this place your mouse over an arrow, hold your left mouse button down, and drag the start bar to your new desired starting or stopping time. Click on the save button when you're done to save the changes that you've made. Let's try another example. Let's modify a scheduled temperature change for a room. From the left hand navigation pane we'll locate the administration offices and bring that over into the right hand panel. Notice that instead of turning lights on and off at particular times, this schedule changes the room temperature settings at predetermined times. As before, we need to enter the edit mode by clicking on the edit button in order to make our temperature changes. Using the left mouse button, we can double click on a particular temperature and a box opens that allows us to make a temperature change in the value area. I'm going to change the temperature from 76 to 78 and then we'll accept that and click on the OK button and for that day of the week we've changed the temperature for that particular time in which we selected. Don't forget to select the Save button when you're done and this will save the changes that we made. There are many additional features in the Medisa scheduling system and you can learn these features by reading the help system files on this topic. For additional training on Metasys, contact your local Johnson branch and ask for course number 388, Metasys System Extended Architecture for Building Operators. You can also visit our training website at www.johnsoncontrols.com institute to see the current catalog of the many high quality building automation, facilities maintenance and energy efficiency training courses offered by our certified instructors. Classes can be held at one of our national institutes or at your location.